welcome back to another cast of the Yodel Cast. A little redundant there, I know, but that's what we do. Redundancy is our name. Uh, we currently are on the second map of the best of three between Team Egocentric and Team SKO. Uh, the two teams faced off on Drydock previously, going to Egocentric 5-1, to one, putting them at a 1-0 overall score. If they manage to take this map, Catabatic, they will be moving on to the second round. Uh, once again, for those of you who do not know, I am Doc Lettuce, and joining me for this cast is Freely. So in the first map, um, we didn't see all that much out of SKO that we would have liked to see, but uh, we did see some encouraging signs, and as and most likely on this map, we do expect Egocentric to take it again, but let's just go over the rosters really quick to see if there have been any changes. On Team Blood Eagle, we have SKO, uh, consisting of Hickory Switch, Barbaric, Conan, OT Knight, Iron Bird, Kid TNT, Super Moose, and Crow Oz. And on Diamond Sword, currently only with six men, we have Egocentric. Uh, rostering Canuck, Idip, Xanther, Small Kiwi, David Bowie, and Sweetness. I will update it as soon as they add their seventh player, but uh, for now, they'll stick with that. So is there anything you want to see, hopefully, out of either team on this map to at least make it a little bit more interesting for our viewers? Uh, SKO needs to pick up their defense. Uh, their sniper needs to stay on his toes and actually pick off the flag carriers as they're coming in. It looks like this time, since Egocentric is down a player, uh, they only have David Bowie running routes. He's actually coming into the bag right now. Um, I haven't checked on SKO's cappers. How are they doing? I haven't been watching them. I was actually following uh, David Bowie currently, but I will follow them once uh, once he finishes up with this run, uh, run either resulting in a death or not. We'll see, but you can see there's some good clearing going on there from Idip. There's only Conan OT Knight on there. He does see him. Oh, what a great body block. That was well done by them. Bringing David Bowie down to 250 health. He is going super slow. This sniper should be able to take him out. Someone should be able to get him, I would hope, because, ah, this is a shame. I do not like to see this. A snipe does come in, bringing him down to 5 health. One shot from anything, and he will go down. Super Moose did manage to get a grab off on the other side in the meantime, but it's not going to be enough. David Bowie's still getting home with 5 health. Barbaric comes in with a nice grab to buy his team a little bit more time. It, it did just bounce over Hickory Switch. We're going to switch over to really quick. And Crow Oz coming in there to keep his team alive. But David Bowie, come on. Someone take him down. Five health. But no, Small Kiwi's going to get the return. And David Bowie's coming in here. And there's the cap. That is a shame. Five health, and they couldn't manage to take him down. That was some nice body blocking there from Conan. Uh, very impressive on his part. But the sniper, unfortunately, only got one shot off, and no one else was there to take advantage of it. So... I am very disappointed in that. I thought I thought they were doing really well there for a second. But uh, going back to what you were saying, I'm following Barbaric right now. He's got a little bit of an interesting route. It's not the greatest one. There are a couple better ones, but he's going about 220-ish. Only Sweetness on the stand. He gets a nice shot off there. He is down to about 196, though. And there we go, Xanther with the snipe. Does manage to take him down, but it was a good attempt at least. Uh, they do have two people on offense there that should really be doing something about this flag. Uh, maybe someone tries trying to come in and do a little bit of a punt or something, but looks like they're just going to leave it out here. Hickory Switch might be coming in for it. And eh, now he's just going to skip them out, and they're just going to leave it here. Uh, Sweetness is going to come in finally for the return. So we're going to watch David Bauer here coming in for the grab. No one on the stand. Crowaz was not ready for him at all. He did get sniped there. Some good snipes coming in. He's down to about 287. Love the sniping action going on here. Keep it up. Uh, but he is pretty much home. They need an e-grabber. They need a kill or something. Super Moose needs to land a great mortar here to make this... Ugh! Mortar lands a little bit too late, and David Bowie managed to get the cap off, making it 2-0 for Egocentric. Unfortunately, it looks like this might just be another blowout, but uh, Adip here coming in with the continuation grab, down to about 600 health. Come on, little... Nope, snipe missing there. Only Crow Oz coming after him. Small Kiwi doing a little bit. Ah, he's trying to punt again. It's a... Third time, I believe, he's tried the punt and missed the punt, and David Bowie is coming in here to pick it up. Crow Oz throwing a nice grenade. What a grenade, but he does get sniped, and so they will be able to just pick this up. Eight up again. It's the fourth punt attempt and the fourth punt miss. That's a little bit of a shame. Xanther is going to be able to pick it up, though. Barbaric misses his route badly. He's going to have to try and do an e-grab anyway. They don't have a choice. Xanther coming in there for the grab. Over jumps it. Barbaric does manage to get the flag off the stand. Tries a punt. I didn't fall very far, so I can't say whether it made it or not. Crowaz comes in with a nice little Nitron there to cause some confusion. Tosses the flag on the field. Xanther's going low. Adip does come in to pick it up. TNT and uh, Iron Bird, it was, uh, trying there to take him out. Only Hickory Switch left, and he does manage to get the cap. So some decent efforts there uh, from SKO. They're certainly not giving up on this. They had some great plays, a couple of really good Nitrons, uh, and the E-grab was really nice, but they're just not quite executing enough. If Barbaric hadn't missed his route... This would have been a much more interesting and difficult cap for Ego, but uh, 
unfortunately, as it stands at 3-0, I don't really see them coming back from this because I think skill at this point in time and coordination is just more on egocentric side. I fully agree. Um, two things I've noticed is that Barbaric's actually running some rather unorthodox routes. Um, a couple times before the most recent cap, he was actually setting up from a dead stop uh, behind the base rather than running a full route. And that second time, he obviously overshot and, and missed a crucial e-grab. Uh, secondly, Kid TNT is the sniper for SKO, but he's missing some crucial spots. Like, if you look right now, David Bowie is coming in. I don't think, no, Kid TNT has still not noticed him. And this happened last time as well on the 2-0 cap. Um, as, yeah, if you, you're watching right now, Kidbo is coming in, Kid TNT doesn't even notice him, he's actually going to get a grab without even getting hit, and again, yeah, the sniper's just missing these shots, and Dave Bo is getting away, one, two snipes have missed, he's going to go up now, but at this point he's pretty much away, because there's no chasers and the sniper's just not hitting them. Yeah, that's certainly a, a problem here. That's one of the issues, I think, with the communication on SKO, as we see Egocentric coming in here for the fourth cap, making it four to zero. Uh, I was watching David Bowie actually there, and we saw that he was taking a really high route. And that's a route that's very effective, but if the snipers on the opponent, opposing team are paying attention, they really will be able to cut that route really hard. It's going to be very difficult for him to get a grab off. Unfortunately, it looks like for some reason they didn't spot him. Maybe he was a little bit too distracted or something of that sort. But uh, if they'd noticed him, they certainly would have been able to cause a lot of problems. So... That goes back to a little bit of team communication. They're not spotting enough because that's a very easy route to see. And we're actually going to keep an eye on him again this time. He's running the exact same route, uh, where he probably will be. This is the same setup. Uh, actually, we're going to switch to our barrack there, who did manage to get a grab off, but he did get taken down there by a snipe uh, from Xanther. And it does look like the flag's just going to sit in the field, so we're going to go back to David Bowie. Yes. He, oh, they don't like... Well, we're going to watch him anyway, because it doesn't look like the flag is going anywhere. See how high he's going here, but there's not even a snipe coming in. This is a problem. They really need to work on their spotting and notice this, because now he's just going to get in. Crow Oz was too busy with the, with the distractor. Kid TNT was actually paying attention to the distractor. He did get a great snipe off on David Bowie, but it's too little too late, as you mentioned before. And he's at 365 health, but he's already back at his base. They're going to get the timed return, and this is going to be the 5-0. to zero. And there we go, 5-0 for Egocentric, making it a clean 2-0 sweep uh, with a 5-1 to one win over on Drydock, and then a 5-0 win on Katabatic. Overall, well, unfortunately we didn't really get to see the matchup we were hoping for, but um, there were definitely some positives for SKO to take away from this, but they really need to also work on a couple more things. Uh, the spotting, as we've just been continually mentioning this whole game, is their Achilles heel. We saw in that last one, Kid TNT was so focused on the distractor rather than the capper that David Bowie got away with full health. If he'd gotten a, a snipe in before then, it's entirely possible that they would have killed him as he was making his way up the mountain, preventing the cap, giving them a return, and giving them a little bit of a lifeline. But as it stood, no dice, no chance on that one because they just weren't spotting enough. They were much... The distractors were... For lack of a better term, distracting very well. Yeah, um, and not only did Kid TNT actually change positions to a position that would better help him tackle that route at the end that uh, David Bowie was taking, but he wasn't even looking that way. He was getting distracted. Um, I'd like to see. Actually, that's best of three, isn't it? So it should be. That's that's it. Yep, that is indeed game over. Um, unfortunately, but. Uh... Still, there were some, you know, there were some highlights to the map. There were a couple really nice clutch plays there by SKO, mostly from Crow Oz. I was really impressed with a couple of the chases that he managed to put on. It's very hard to chase on those maps, but he still managed to get a couple nice Nitrons off there on Catabatic. And they managed to cause quite a bit of confusion and chaos uh, sometimes when the flag was back at Egocentric's base. Unfortunately, in the end, though, they just weren't able to get the return, and it just wasn't quite enough. It feels to me like they haven't practiced enough as a team against competition, and... You know, it's it's difficult, I think, for teams to have done so at this point in the game with the, with, uh, the competitive scene still being a very early uh, process. And an, it's, it's in such a young stage right now that it's not easy for teams of that caliber to truly practice against teams such as Egocentric, uh, Tripart, Icarus, Tau, all those sorts. And so they can't improve that well. Um, but I, I do see a bright future ahead, you know. They need, they, they gotta work on some stuff, they, their sniper needs to get a little bit better to be honest, either at making his shots, uh, spotting, or both, but the sniper, if, there's, if they had a better sniper, I feel like those maps would have lasted quite a bit longer, because they did a decent amount of the stuff right, they just, 
we're missing the small things. Well, you say small, but uh, it's a pretty big position. Well, of course, but I mean, it's it's one or two th one or two tweaks, and I feel like they really would have at least been able to maybe get another cap off, or at least extended the match Ten by double their length, gotten a couple more turns in, and that sort of stuff. Five, yeah. But anyway, that will three, conclude our two, round one matchup. One. So we will have uh, egocentric defeating SKO in a clean two zero sweep. Uh, they triumphed 5-1 on Drydock and 5-0 on Katabatic. In the next round, they will be facing a team that I should know. I believe it's EPI, who has a couple of star players, so it should be a very interesting map. We will be following Egocentric throughout the tournament, um, at least for the first couple rounds, and then unfortunately I have to go on vacation. So please stay tuned for further rounds, uh, and... Thank you all for listening. I am Doc Lettuce, and joining me was Freely. Once again, you watched Egocentric triumph over Team SKO 2-0 in a clean sweep of the CSN Round 1 matchup. Thank you once again for listening, and stay tuned for Round 2.